So now that the build is done, let's look into the details. Uh, first, we have the components. The brain of the system is our Arduino board that makes all the decisions. Then we have the motor driver that lets us control the motors. We also have four DC motors, a three cell LiPo battery, and 12 volt LED strip. For computer vision, we are using the PixiCam 1. The PixiCam has a processor of its own that does all the detections and gives us the information of the location and the size of the object. So an image is just a specific number of pixels. In case of PixiCam, we are getting 320 by 200 pixels. The PixiCam lets us select a colored object that we can track. The information that PixiCam sends us is the X, Y, the width and the height of the object. The X and Y are the starting points of the object. In our case, we take this information and find the center point of our object. Based on this X value of the center, we determine which direction we need to move in order to come back to the center point. 
we also define a dead zone where the robot will not rotate in order to avoid a lot of shaking. So first we are going to connect our motors to the edge bridge. So two motors on the left hand side will be joined together and connected to the edge bridge and the two motors on the right hand side will also be connected together and connected to the edge bridge. Then we are going to connect our pins that will control the direction and the speed of the motors through the edge bridge. Then we will connect our battery and we are going to connect the grounds of Arduino and the battery together. And lastly, we are going to connect our LED strip, the positive and the negative, to our power supply. Once all the connections are done, we will plug in the Pixie Cam and open up Pixie Moon. Here we will select our object as signature 1 and adjust the threshold value to get the optimum results. It's a good idea to add a minimum object size to avoid detecting noise. So finally, let's look at the code. The code is actually fairly simple. We are importing our libraries. We are declaring our variables. So if you're new to Arduino, uh, there are three main sections um, to the Arduino code. We have our initializations and declarations at the top. And then we have the void setup and void loop. The void setup will run only once and the void loop will run continuously. So in our in our declarations, we are declaring that uh, our motor controller is connected to pin 5, 6, 7, 8, and, uh, 8 9, and 10. And uh, each of them represent uh, uh, their particular order, which is enable, integer, uh, input, input 3, input 4, and enable. So uh, as we discussed before, we have a dead zone that we are defining where the object will not move at all which is 0 0.15, which means 15%, and we have a base speed at which the robot will run. So uh, in the void setup, we are just declaring all of our pins as output using a for loop, and in the void loop, we are uh, checking the value of the turn, how much uh, deviation we have from the center using the pixie check function and then we are applying our dead zone to it and then we are deciding how much to move the motor so now this is a very simple code where you are just looking at if the turn is positive or negative and based on that you are moving uh, otherwise you will keep going forward now, if you look at the pixie check function, it is um, fairly simple. You are getting, uh, if, if you are detecting any object, you are getting the x, y values of it, and then you are also getting the height and the width of it. And based on that, you are getting the center x and the center y uh, position as we discussed earlier. Now, we are also applying normalization to it which means uh, if our value is from 0 to 320 we are changing it from minus 1 to 1. Uh, this is a common practice in the um, computer vision world that we are normalizing our uh, values that helps us in the computation and it helps us overall as well. So once we have the uh, once we have the x and y of the center point we can send back our uh, X location and based on this X location we are telling our robot to move in a particular direction whether it's positive or negative and then we also have a function uh, which is move robot which takes in the value of uh, the left speed and the right speed so here all of uh, the calculations and the processing is done uh, it's, it's fairly simple but what all you have to do is send it a speed for the left motors and send it the speed for the right motors and it will take care of the directions and how to send the commands to the motor controller so as you can see if, if you want to uh, debug and see what values you're getting you can uncheck this and run the serial print overall this is a fairly simple code and it should get you started with the robotics so this is it for today's tutorial i hope you have learned something new if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and i will see you in the next video